Hello again, viewers. About a week ago, I did a hands-on review of my Amazon Fire Phone. And this week, I'm going to show you how to sideload the Google account services and Google-related apps like YouTube and the Play Store so you have access to everything Android has to offer. For this next step, you're going to transfer the files from your downloaded folder over to the Amazon Fire Phone. Before the phone will let you install any third-party apps, you'll need to go into the settings and then find underneath application and parental controls, you should see prevent non-Amazon app installation. Once you go into there, there will be an app installation setting at the very top that you'll need to turn on. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is install ES Explorer so that you can find the AP key files you uh, downloaded. So to do that, I was able to do it just by going to the Amazon store, and then I just did a search for File Explorer. I go up here, punch in File, and here it is. It's this one up here, if you can see that. Let me lift it. Now I'm going to tap it. So, yeah, it's, it's a blue icon. It looks like a folder, and it just says ES on it. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to tap open here. Okay, and then um, I already browsed to my download folder, but normally it would start at your SD card. So this is where I put all four of those APK files. Okay, so the first one we're going to install is the Google account services up here at the top right. And what this should do is it should allow basically a pass-through authentication. So when you log into your Google account, you go to use YouTube or the Play Store or any of those applications, it's going to pass through your Google account so you are authorized to use those. Next, we're going to install the Google services. And the last one we're going to do is Google Play Store. Now if everything worked correctly, we should be able to actually launch the Play Store. Okay, back again. So I ran into some troubles following the steps that I'd used before, and it might have been because my phone has been updated in the last week, and uh, so I had to stop the video. Um, none of the stuff was working, and uh, went to Google and found a lot of other people having similar issues. So what ended up fixing it for me, and you might also want to do this, but the order that I showed you to install these apps, I almost think... If I remember correctly, the first time I did this, I would install one app and then reboot, install the next app and then reboot. So the order that I showed them initially, I believe is correct. But the one thing that made the big difference is this one in the top left. Let me see if I can pull this up for you. That's probably not going to show up too well on video. But it is a uh, APK. Um, it's, it's a particular version of the Google Play services, 7.0.99. That one seemed to be the magic one that got everything to work. Cause, so right here is my Google Hangouts. This, this is like my most important app. I mean, this is the majority of my communications through here, sharing photos, texting, etc. So I use Hangouts a ton. Um, I also use YouTube a ton. And so it's nice that this is, this is working again. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know. My current... Android version is still 3.6.8 and there is a 4.6.1 out there. Um, I don't know if I would try it yet based on what I've been reading. It looks like that one is still having a lot of issues and uh, it should be available soon. So once that's available, I'll show you how to update it and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks.